Among those killed in the war in Ukraine is a man from Burlington County, New Jersey. Pete Reed, a former Marine, was killed during a missile attack last week in Bakhmut as he worked to help others. Tonight we hear from his wife for the first time. Action News reporter Bob Brooks has more. Walter Pete Reed was a graduate from Bordentown Regional High School. Killed on Thursday, his wife says he should be remembered as a man who lived to save others. On the right is Alex Potter. On the left is her husband, Bordentown native Pete Reed. The couple was set to celebrate their first wedding anniversary in just weeks, but that all changed Thursday. Pete was killed in Ukraine's Bakhmut region while trying to evacuate those who had been injured by a missile strike. He was always very present and very caring, and I think that's why so many people love him too, you know, because they can tell that he is like he's a real one. <laughs> Like, as they say, visibly and understandably upset, Alex shared their story. It started years ago in Iraq. She was a journalist and nurse. Pete, a Marine veteran, was providing medical aid. So I ended up joining them. I thought I'd stay for a couple weeks, but we fell in love really quickly. From there, they started a nonprofit together, completing humanitarian missions wherever there was need. And the idea of people getting hurt like weighed heavily on him. When the war in Ukraine broke out, Pete was given the opportunity to work for global outreach doctors. We knew that he had the skills. We knew he had the empathy to help our Ukraine brothers and sisters. He was quickly named their country director, but on Thursday he was transporting victims in an ambulance when it was shelled. This has been exceptionally difficult. Through tears, Andrew Lusting couldn't say enough about the work Pete and Alex accomplished together. What an amazing team. Um, Pete Reed and, and his wife, Alex, are. Every single person he came into contact with, like, felt loved and heard and that he, like, truly cared about them because he did. And Walter, Alex has been told that Pete died while shielding others from that blast when they were hit. And now she's undergoing the painstaking process of bringing him home for proper funeral services. For now, reporting in Bordentown, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.